Our time on the French Riviera was nothing short of breathtaking, so enjoy as I recount the first stop on our month-long holiday in France and Greece. We finally got our European summer. The question is, is it really fresh or are there just big chunks of tomato? First moments of vacation always feel so fake to me, so while we were still a tad bit high on adrenaline, we took the time to walk around Old Town Nice and get a feel for where we would be for the next extended week. Attenzione, pickpocket! Attenzione, Doing some light makeup for the day. After some much needed rest, we decided for our first day in Nice, we wanted to head to the hilltop village of Ez. From the train station, you can either take a bus or hike to the top, but we opted for Uber because we mistakenly didn't bring cash for bus fare. We got some tomato mozzarella sandwiches, desserts, some juice, and some water. <laughs> Eventually, we were ready to take the hike to the top of Ez, and it did not disappoint. The village was incredibly charming, with something to see at every turn. As afternoon turned to evening, we navigated public transport to our dinner reservations at the famous Le Plongeois in Nice. You'd be hard pressed to find a dinner with a better view, the staff was friendly, and the food and wine were delicious. This was a $50 minimum per guest, but it was well worth it for us. We just ate at the Insta famous Le Plonger. We did. <laughs> What's your review, Morgan? Yummy. The wine was delicious. The risotto was delicious. Finger licking good. The vibes are now immaculate. Ambiance. Immaculate. Mac we are having a much needed beach day. Yesterday was a little bit laborsome, honestly. Have my towel, have my book, my camera. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> this <laughs> we're dying we have about a nine minute walk to the little beach spot that we found in breath i'm out of breath everything's gonna be downhill no it's oh on the way back yes but right now pain in due time we find out that we took the scenic route to our swim spot but plunging into this ice cold water made the journey so incredibly worth it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This beach is stunning. There's us and two other families. Love a little secluded beach moment. Why is that word so funny? After finally satisfying our saltwater craving, we headed back to Nice and stumbled upon this bookshop. There was a book in there that our mom read to us as a kid. It unlocked so many memories, reminding us both that you're never really that far from your comfort zone, even when you're feeling like a fish out of water. Your hand makes me tremble 
it really easy today. We've had a taxing last few days and although traveling is so much fun, there's just one day, I feel like weekly, that you just need a rot and we're trying to pace ourselves. We're relaxing today. We're gonna find a swim spot a little bit later. So I guess we're just relaxing this morning, but as for right now, I think we're gonna walk to city center and get some bakery item. We asked our Airbnb host yesterday what her favorite bakery was, and she said that um, it's this one that we're about to go through. So I'm very excited to get some French bread. Here's the little fit. I hope I don't regret the Birkenstock. Having a washer and dryer at our Airbnb was game changer and we really did take advantage of it. We also had AC which is extremely uncommon in Europe and the details for this Airbnb are below. Here's our little bread hole. We got two pano chocolates. I think this is a chocolate chip muffin. We got some bread for our sandwiches that's looking a lot less burned. And then Morgan got this pasta salad with corn, chicken, tomatoes, mozzarella, and I think some olive oil and maybe pesto. But it looks really yummy and colorful. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Bon appetito! By day three, we were absolute pros at navigating public transport, and this day's destination was Saint Jean Cap Ferrat. Please don't come for my pronunciation. I'm really putting in my best effort here. One of the most alluring things about this peninsula is its coastal walk and superb luxury homes nestled in pine forests. This was most definitely a trek to get to, but if you're like me and interested in the road less traveled, you can find detailed instructions to this beautiful and dreamy spot in my blog linked below. <laughs> it's so special to witness other people enjoying the simple pleasures of life. There's almost something contagious about it, and this may be my favorite moment from our entire time in France. That will always stay. Don't ever let him bring you down. What a terrible thing to say. We're going back to our favorite little beach spot. The other day when we came, we took a probably a 20 minute walk when really all we had to do is get off the train and go right to the stairs underneath. We're not making that mistake today. We lazed around here for hours and read, swam, and talked about everything under the sun. It was bittersweet leaving because we knew that this was our last swim at our special spot. We worked up an appetite, so it was time to satisfy our hunger with something savory, followed by a sweet treat, of course.
We spent our last night in Nice walking around Old Town, people watching and reminiscing on the beautiful time we had in the south of France. It was the perfect mix of vacation and travel and I'm so glad I got to share this experience with my sister Morgan as it was her first time in Europe. But it's Stay tuned for the next vlog because we are off to the city of love, Paris, France. <laughs>